Thank you and good evening. The shooting required the collaboration of multiple police agencies who are tracing back step by step the sequence of events at the various crime scenes. The city of Palmhurst was the epicenter of a shootout that began around 1.30 this afternoon and left three crime scenes for police to investigate. Preliminary information provided to Fox 2 reveals a chain of events that began with Alton police discovering a Chevy Suburban with multiple gunshots and the body of a male inside, while spotting a suspect fleeing from the scene outside a community on Lori Mark and Mile 3. This initiated the pursuit that led to the capture of three suspects on a black Nissan Murano on Mayberry and Mile 2 in front of Veterans High School. Moments later, Palmhurst police received a 911 call at Lindbergh Street and Bryan Road, just a block away from the original scene, where a Ford F-150 was found with bullet holes and a male suspect with a gunshot wound to the neck. He was transported to a nearby hospital and is in critical condition. The pickup truck he was found in was loaded with a large, non-specified amount of marijuana. We possibly know, uh, we, have a, uh, uh, we haven't determined that yet, but it looks, it appears that they are all connected. But the, the vehicle, we did find a vehicle at this residence where the initial 911 call came from. Uh, that we did find bundles of marijuana and also a vehicle that was, uh, it, looked, it appears to be shot uh, through the window and also through the sides of the vehicle. Sources close to the investigation tell us those involved in the shootout are of Mexican origin, although the 32-year-old victim who was gunned down in the suburban carried a Florida driver's license. Details investigators continue to collect. For now, authorities are on the lookout for at least three other suspects as well as the white Chevy Silverado. We, of course, will continue keeping you updated with the latest. Oscar Morgan reporting for Fox 2 News.